Hi right, guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We're going out after the squid and coral fish today. We've got the lads with us, yeah. and Glorious and oh, Sam. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have to stop myself. We're going out for some conga bait and I'll probably cook one up tomorrow if we get enough. So stay tuned, it's Smash Fishing. Woo! What I'm using today, I've got one squid jig with a fairly long trace to a uh, ball, a little ball weight. And that's all I'm using really, and a slow retrieve, aiming for the bottom. And hopefully we can get some nice juicy ones. Danny's got his landing net today. The good old crab wheel. It's ideal for landing the squid and cuttles because a lot of the time they pop off right on the right on the water's edge. Especially but hopefully, fish. sorry mate. Especially cuttlefish. Oh, for sure. They got such soft flesh on them. You just pull the hooks through. But hopefully we can rake a few up tonight. Just giving you a better show of the rig, guys. As you can see, I've got my my leader attached to my braid here and there's a small bit that just keeps the weight in place like so where the bead is to a swivel long trace of about two and a half feet to a nice squid jig Captain Dano's gonna show us the bacon. We're gonna find three pound bacons, hopefully. <laughs> right, I've been told there's four pounders been caught here vertical jigging, so I'm taking his advice. <laughs> I ain't playing. <laughs> All we're doing is letting it go right to the bottom, guys. And what I'm gonna be doing is slowly lifting and sinking again. And then possible few twitches and hopefully something wants them. Dan has got a big squid coming after his lure. It's on. You got him on? Yes. He's not on his property though. It's all right, I'm gonna see if he's got any friends. Oh, he's off. That, you, mate. that was a nice squid. one, that was a nice one. Nice to see one. Told you. He's on. <laughs> Sabotage! You hit my squid! Coming up, Sam! <laughs> Sorry about that, Dan! Check that out! Oh, nice God. size squid there! You nicked my squid! I nicked Dano's squid! <laughs> Sabotage, baby! It's all about the squid work! <laughs> What I'm doing is dropping to the bottom again. I'm waiting until I hit the bottom and then I'll slowly retrieve it up while Dan jigs his jig around, attracting them in, and then I'll come in behind and catch them. Yeah. <laughs> sabotage. sabotage! That's what it's all about. Gotta sabotage your friend's squid for a catch and cook. <laughs> Don't mind. That's it. That knows in. What is it? I don't know what. Mr. Squidward. It's a baby squid. There's a little squidward down there. Nice. Good landing. Good landing, Sam. Oh, well done, Sam. Beautiful. Happy days. Check Only that. A little one. Captain Dan over a little wee squid. Little calamari. Give you a little show there. That's an ideal conga bait that size. Yeah, beautiful. Nice one, mate. Might have to go get the bottom rod out. Ooh. <laughs> Not a bad start to the night. We've had two squid so far. We're hoping for a few cottle. If I can get a cuttlefish in this video and uh, I'll do a taste test with cuttlefish and squid. Uh, I've been buying some spices lately, so I've got some new little spices to put in the cook and hopefully it tastes good. 
Bale's got the right idea. I'm not playing. He's going to chuck his little squid out on the big rod, hoping for a big bass or a conga. That'd be nice to see. Basil wazzle. That's it, straight in the head and then go straight into the body. Oh, we got ink. Oh, so that's, that's it, just go straight in there, mate. What, straight through there? Yeah. What, just holds it on, oh, yeah, yeah, so the fish can't pull it off. Beautiful. That's an ideal bait, that. Present that to you, Mush. That's as fresh as you'll ever get. His tentacles are sticking to me. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Hope you get something decent, mate. How are you going to land it? My drop net. <laughs> get ready for a piccadilly circus guys that's what happens when you buy cheap lures you bounce them off the pontoon and they break the pieces the rain started to come in now they're the still end? trooping I, that, huh hopefully we get one more. yep it would be nice to see a cuttlefish but if not we're still going to cook up the uh, squid tomorrow no i'm going to do it a little bit different this time a few herbs and go smash Ramsey style. Smash Ramsey, smash Ramsey you know, the ultimate crap cooking. That's how it's done. <laughs> Dano's got a cuttlefish. I'm sorry about the wind noise. Go on, Sam. <laughs> go, 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 go. Yeah, yeah boy. Your captain cook, mate. Look at that. Nice. Oh, yeah. Little cuttlefish there. Perfect for the catch and cook, baby. Beautiful. Well done, mate. Yeah. On the new jig? Yeah, on the new look. That's Dano's new jig there. I'm going to have to invest in a couple of them, I think. Yeah, they're good. Whoa. There you go. That's a cuttlefish. Hopefully, you don't squirt ink at me. Evil little buggers, these are. Look at me. I'm caught up with my head torch. <laughs> <laughs> It's absolutely peeing it down right now, but we're still trooping it. Lovely sized cuttlefish there. That's perfect eating that. The smaller they are, the more delicate they are. Creepy looking things these are. Yeah. Well done, mate. Yeah. Cheers. Quick, get on there. Dano's in. It's a big one. Quick, get on there. Go on, Sam. See that vertical jig and big jig. Bam. It's a lovely size squid. Got to get it in there. Where there's one, there is more. Stop pulling the line! We've got it! Stop pulling the line! <laughs> there we are, guys! Booyah! Check that out! There's Dano, another nice squid there. Yeah, That's okay, probably the biggest up. one. Another way to kill squid. Oh, is it? If you put your fingers behind the mantle. Oh, and then you go. Oh, yeah! <laughs> you just pop the vein out, and then that's it, dead. Devastated. Now let's go get grandma. Oh. That's the end result for today, guys. It's absolutely freezing. My hands have gone numb. Captain Dano, the champ of the day. Squid, baby! Starting with the squid. Got your two tentacles there for grabbing onto the prey and bringing it straight into the mouth. And you've got your beak just here. And as you can see, these things can give you a nasty old nip with that. But what I'm gonna do is to start off with the squid, is you get the two mantles and get behind them. And that starts off your peeling process. There we go, and then it just comes off as easy as that. And what you're doing is just taking all of the membrane off, any sort of skin, just like so, to your left with just the tube. And all you do is get behind the, behind the head here, 
and you go right to the back and pull it all out. And this is an ideal bait for conger eel. So we're going to be keeping this today. I don't know what that is. Anyone can tell me, leave it in the comments. This is more valuable to me as bait than for me to eat it. That's why I always keep the heads on cuttlefish, squid, and the same for the mantle as well. This, wrapped up in a sand eel or mackerel, is a great bait. So we keep that as well. And all I want is the tube. And today, all I'm doing, I'm not making rings today. So what I'm gonna do is cut it open, flapping it out, and you take out the backbone, which is just like a piece of plastic, basically. And then get all the gunk out. So I'll just get this rinsed off. And what you're doing is trying to get all of the ink off, all of any of the uh, membrane, just keep peeling it off, and eventually you'll be left with a solid white slab of meat like that. And for the cuttlefish, cuttlefish are slightly different to prepare. But same principles, you've got your mantle here, and cuttlefish hold a lot of ink. So what you're doing is getting your finger behind the mantle. It's always a bit more tricky with the cuttlefish. And the idea is to try your best not to break the ink sac, otherwise you're gonna have a mess on your hands. That's all it is, keep peeling it round. There's the things you find on the beaches. Go get that one off. Just like so. Once you get it started, it will all come off clean as anything. And what I like to do is your ink sac is right here. As you can see, there's a dark patch, and that's the bit you don't want to pop. So what I like to do is get my thumb under the side, and you start cutting round where the uh, membrane sac basically is. That's what I'll call it. Keep cutting round. There you go. Beautiful. And what this does is stops you from popping the stuff that's going to go absolutely everywhere. So you've got a little bit of ink there. So you just pull that out. This one didn't go according to plan. So there's a perfect representation of when you pop the ink sac. You can see how thick that is. And that's what you're trying to avoid. So the whole idea is to get the back bit off like so. So you're left with a nice chunk of meat. And as you can tell, compared to squid, cuttlefish is a lot thicker. And it's got a lot different taste as well. I'm just going to prep the head a little bit on this one, get a chopping board, just like so. And what I like to do for the head, I'm going to keep the rest of this for conger bait, but this part, just, just above the eyes, if you cut straight down, and that is an awesome bait, there's so much juice in that. Give that a little rinse off. This is not the cleanest catch and cook for squid and cuttlefish. But hey ho, and what you're left with is just the tentacles and its beak. And as you can see, the beak itself is real nasty piece of work. With the beak, once you've got it through like that, just chop that off. That's, a sh that's so sharp. It's amazing how sharp that really is. So if that got hold of you, that would take a nice chunk out of you. That goes to bait. So what you're left with is a load of tentacles. And I just like to chop them into little pieces, like so. So you've got like two tentacles on each piece. I'd rather use this as bait, but this is just for the catch and cook. So there you go, you've got all your tentacles there, perfectly prepped for the frying pan. And as for the squid, and I like to take this piece off because this I find is a bit chewy sometimes. So 
So that goes to bait. Same goes with the cuttlefish. I like to take the end pieces off, just like so. Take that piece off. You're left with a lovely chunk of meat. So for the squid, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do strips about half an inch wide, like so. And the same for the cuttlefish. You don't want the strips too big. You can cut them into quite big blocks and put slits in them. That's another way to, to cook this stuff. But I'm no expert at cooking, but all I know is this, this tastes good. And prepped this way, it's very easy. And what I like to do is just to average them out into about a third. So they'll be about an inch and a half a piece. Just like so. And those are ideal little chunks to go with everything else. And the squid, exactly the same. I'm just cutting it into small pieces, bite-sized pieces ready for the frying pan. So that's our squid and cuttlefish all prepped now. We've got our squid chunks here, nice and thin. Our cuttlefish chunks. See, cuttlefish is quite a lot thicker and that was a small cuttlefish. And we've got our tentacles. So I wait for Sam to finish work. And then we'll start cooking, baby. Woo! What we've got today, we're gonna to cook these with a few noodles. I'm not really sure what these noodles are called, but we're gonna cook them anyway, they look good. And all I'm doing is gonna pop those in a pan with some boiling water. And these, I presume, are gonna cook pretty quickly. So I'm just gonna let those cook through while we start the squid. And what we're doing for that is we've got some olive oil, some ginger, some chili, chili powder, some garlic, pepper, salt, and lemon. So all we're gonna do to start off with is get a bit of olive oil in the pan and give it a little bit of ginger. Nice. Little bit of chili flakes. I know you're not too keen on that, Sam. No, not really. <laughs> Then we got some garlic. And we get a bit of salt in there. Some pepper. And we'll save the lemon juice till last. And that smells amazing already. <laughs> get a little bit more oil. We're just doing this off the top of our heads. This isn't planned and we're not chefs. But we know it's going to taste good. <laughs> We've got the oil nice and hot now, and all we're doing is just literally shallow frying these, or quick frying them, in the wok. You don't need to cook squid and cuttlefish very long. Oh, that smells well nice. Check that out. It's been about a minute and a half, and what I'm going to do is just add some lemon juice. And that will just give it a little twang. You really do not want to cook this for too long. Because if you do, this will turn like rubber. Our squid and cuttlefish are nearly ready now. So what we're going to do is get all of our noodles straight in the pan. These are not cooked all the way through yet. And what we want to do is for them to soak up the oil with all the herbs. Oh, that smells delicious. Smelling good, eh, dude? Smells delicious. Something we haven't tried before as well, eh? Yeah, it's new. It's like stir fried squid and cuttlefish. Those noodles cook quick, eh? Yeah, very quick. Oh, perfect. Before 
we'll add a few noodles just for a bit of variety. Mm. It's really tasty. It tastes like ginger, right? Eh? Yeah, you can taste it. That's the cuttlefish tentacles there. Mmm. I think those are the best part. What's that? The tentacles. Yeah. They're wow well delicate. Oh, this is amazing. Just adding a little bit of lemon. Reckon that'll just finish it off. Have a bit if you want to. Oh. This is awesome, mate. We should do this more often with the noodles and that. Mm, sure. I think the cuttlefish is more tender than what the squid is. Yeah, I think the cuttlefish has a better taste than the squid. Yeah, personally. totally agree, yeah. People might think different, but that's my personal opinion. Yeah, I totally agree, to be honest. It's got that warmer taste. I think that's yeah, what kicks exactly. it off, eh? Well, nice. Cuttlefish is highly recommended. <laughs> <clears throat> and like we say, we're no chefs, but we just pick up little tips, especially from you guys as well. Saying about the chilli flakes, I've forgotten who said that, so I thought I'd try it. And it definitely turned out, well, you're not a chilli lover either, eh? Not really, no, but this, it, it makes it quite tasty, you know? Yeah, just that little Adds bit extra, right? Eh? Yeah, for sure. Mmm. So we won't leave you any longer, guys. We're going to finish this awesome meal. <laughs> definitely. Look at that chunk. Oh. <clears throat> if you want to check out Sam's Instagram, I'll leave the link in the description, guys. If you want to check out Captain Dano's channel in Glorious Fishing, that'll be in the description as well. If you like my channel, like and subscribe. There's going to be plenty more to come. It's Smash Fishing. Mm. Tasty. That cuttlefish is the balls, mate. It is the balls. Good. <laughs>